Hey folks, that fix it guy here. Today, we are going to be changing out a basket strainer. I know you've seen me change basket strainers before, but this is one that I wanna show you that if you see it in your house, you're only gonna have a problem over time. Metal is always better than plastic when it comes to things of this nature, all right? Especially when you do a big, nice remodel, don't put some cheap plastic basket strainers in. Get some nice quality brass basket strainers that are gonna last you as long as the rest of your kitchen. So come along, let's get to fixing. This right here, my opinion shouldn't be in here. That cheap plastic basket strainer setting in a kitchen remodel that easily costs $30,000 and that's what you decide to put in, and you don't even put it in right, you've got so much slope on this that it's crazy. You obviously have a leak here because you haven't done this right. We're gonna install this newer nice kitchen sink strainer right here. These things are cheap, man, they're like 20 bucks. It's a lot nicer, it's gonna be a little bit more low profile, and it's actually gonna give us the area we need to bring this pipe up a little bit and just clean that all up and make it look a little better. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this apart. We are going to take this nut right here and take this off. And we're gonna take this nut right here off. Yeah. And we're just gonna move the feet trap out of the way. Yeah, that's just not right. So you can look at that. It's been leaking for a while right there. You see all that nasty. When I pull that off, I'll show you. This was just way too big. For what they had going on, this was way too long. They should have switched to a shorter one a long time ago or actually installed a quality brass one to begin with and it, there would be no issue. And then this can actually come up to here and it can actually sit not like it does way down here. It just needs to be up like right here, just a quarter inch per foot, which this is just a little over a foot, right? So a quarter inch slope going down to the drain and it'll be hooked up. So with this particular style of crappy basket strainer, you're gonna wanna stick your screwdriver in one of these little slots right here and just kind of hold it in place. That way it doesn't turn. And then in the bottom, you just wanna turn counterclockwise. Okay, so my particular flathead wouldn't work for this. I need to get down into two sides of this thing. So I just grabbed a butter knife. Oh man, okay. These little slots right here can be tricky because a normal size or a big flathead screwdriver is not gonna fit in that. I grabbed a cat's paw. They did a number on this. They really did a number on this. I feel like they tightened it down insanely too tight too. They probably had a leak to begin with because it's junk. You can zoom in right there and I'm just actually stripping out the metal. I can't find anything to kind of really do this good. If anybody has any suggestions on how you do this, something that I could carry in my tool bag, because I run into these crap things from time to time. Make it easy on ourselves, pull out the drill, and Still gonna have to hold it from the bottom a little bit. Oh. You never think you're gonna have to do something like this. But, man, when you're dealing with junk, right? Okay. 
Okay, let's see. There we go. Okay, so it popped out. Good. Man, talk about having to improvise. Like that stupid little thing. All right, let's go ahead. We'll just get this wiped up. You just want to clean out both sides of this really well. So this is that piece that we just pulled out of there. It actually spun off and broke off the brass, which is good because I didn't have a drill bit big enough. All I had was a 3 8 bit to try to take that out. And it turned out it was just a little bit bigger than 3 8 that hole. So glad it came out of there. So it's just this piece... This cheap piece, they didn't even put plumber's putty underneath it. It comes with these cheap little foam washers that they say hold, but I honestly don't think it holds for very long. I've replaced a lot of these. And then this washer. So people install these because they're cheap and they're quick installs. But man, just the overall product is a bummer. So here's what we're looking at. We've got this nice brass low profile basket strainer, right? It comes with this sweet little quarter turn style drain thing. It looks a lot nicer. I install a lot of these. I mean, I install a couple different kinds of things, but this one I like. If you wanna go cheap or cheaper, then you know there's other things. I mean, you can go high dollar too. You can spend 50 bucks on a basket strainer. Like Kohler makes a crazy basket strainer, super easy to install, very high quality but you're going to pay you're going to pay for it right if you guys like this kind of information and material please jump in subscribe click the like button you know we're doing all kinds of stuff like this all the time so now we're going to focus on we're going to put some plumber's putty on we're going to get this put in place so if you keep the nut the paper washer and this rubber washer together it just makes it easy because they're all going to go in just like that and now we'll take this set it upside down Grab a little plumber's putty. You know, it kind of varies. If you're going with this, you're going with a stainless steel on a stainless steel sink. It's going to be very thin, right? You don't need tons. So I'll just go ahead. I like to grab a, I don't know, it's kind of like a big bouncy ball size. Rub it up. Smash it out. You're going to make this a little bit thinner. And so, as we go around, we'll just thin that out. There's going to be a lot left over. It's all right. And just get that hooked up. And just make sure you have it to where it's covering the whole edge. You, won't, you don't want any of that edge showing. At least I don't. I don't usually like it showing. It's gonna squirt out of there, but I just like it to be there. So you can see it's not that thick on there. It really is not. And a lot of it's gonna smush out anyway. And so now we'll just take this, get it put in place, and then we'll just kind of push it firm in place. And we'll go back below. Okay, so once you're right here, you're gonna to wanna to get under the sink. Hopefully a little bit better than I am right now, because this is a hard, angle to be doing anything at and then you just want to put the rubber washer on put the gasket on and just get the nut started Struggling with everything today. Get that hooked up there. And now take a pair of needle nose pliers. And just stick this up in those slots. Because that's typically what you'd have. They make other tools to set up in there. But for the purpose of this, like, let's just go with what you have. And then a pair of channel locks. These are 440 channel locks. You just take this and start tightening. 
So now we come up top, we'll take a flathead screwdriver, we'll just go right around this, and we'll cut this off. So you see how much putty, you see how much putty we just got out of that. Give this a little bit more time. You let this set for five minutes and then try to tighten it down again. And I'm gonna guarantee you get some more putty coming out this edge again. So now we're gonna do the process one more time. Oh yeah, look at that. Didn't make me a liar. It's not much, but it's some. Okay, well, they cut this piece way too short, so I grabbed another one. I didn't have an extra tail piece, so I had to run out because this little tail piece piece is going to be way too short as well. Unfortunately, we had to rebuild. So, let's rebuild. What I do is just take this, just put that in there, hold it up right about where you want to go. You want some slope on it. You don't want freaking too crazy much. And then I just put this right there and I'll just get a measurement. So you get it right there for this. Switch thumbs. I'm gonna grab my trusty old rigid cutter here. You want to twist a little bit when you do this. That just way it cuts through it nice and easy. Like butter, cut it off. So now we got that on there. We can pop this in there, take it all the way down to the bottom. It's gonna go in nice. And this is gonna come up to right there. So that right there stands up. It's been up a little bit higher. And now we've got a measurement for our next one. This right here, we just come down a little bit. So if you take this, put this on there, that's gonna give you a true measurement. Just put that right along the top and just thumb mark it. You don't have to be exact. You don't have to pull out a tape measure. You just go with your thumb, boom, right there. And you're gonna be hooked up. You're gonna want that sticker off of there. So now with this one, we're gonna go right up in here we're gonna remove this little ring right here. It's gonna sit down in there, but first we're gonna put a little mega lock on it. Big fan of this stuff, right? Kevlar woven. It's just a, uh, it's a pipe dope that kind of never gets hard. It's made for metal and plastic. And so I like to always put a little something on this particular washer. Right, and we'll stick that down in there and then just stick a little bit more around the top side. And then we'll just add the, the next washer and, or nut and washer, sorry. Washer and nut, whichever way. Get that on there and then we'll just pop this back off one more time. Get it right there. Get that on there. Get that out there. And looky, looky. We're hooked up there. We're hooked up there. That's hooked up there. These right here, they just need to be hand tight. This top knot right up here. Remember, that's a hard plastic washer. So you just want to take that Give that a little snug. Don't try to tighten it all crazy tight. Just tight enough to where it doesn't leak. And we're good and hooked up there. Okay, so we're filling right now. We're testing and everything looks great. All right, folks, so we're done. But nothing really went right with that besides it didn't leak when we were done putting it together, right? I had to drill that piece out of there just wonky, man. All of it was wonky. You know, I, <laughs> it just is what it is sometimes. It's plumbing. It's home ownership. Things like this happen. You're going to need to do what it takes to fix it. 
And sometimes that means pulling out a drill. Sometimes that means trying to use a cat's paw, right? Any little thing that I could find, I'm trying to throw at it to make sure that it works. I really hope this video helped. If you could please subscribe to the channel, click the like button. Um, we would greatly appreciate it. I'll put a link for the tools I use below and please give us a share. Somebody you know could use this video or others in my arsenal, please share them. Help us out. Thank you very much and have a great day.